this. We raise our own money and buy these to build bridges to kind of develop that understanding. So that's our organization. We don't really, like, you know, we don't try to fundraise. We're not trying to indoctrinate people or anything like that. We just want to, you know, have these kind of conversations because if you see a lot of people, there's a lot of misinformation out there about Islam. Right. Like right. people don't understand Islam because Fox and all these hate preachers yeah, and all this stuff. Yeah, 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 but yeah, people yeah. like you that are open-minded, no, that I want to have that conversation, Grace, we want to be I'm here. I'm a Christian, but I love my... I feel you. I, I, I got to love my, my brothers. Excellent. Brothers and Ex sisters. Excellent. So let me, let me tell you a little bit about things yeah. that we have in common, for right. example, right? We love Jesus. Right? Like you see some Christians making fun of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, or burning his image, no, or no, making drugs. That's those Christians are not true Christians. There you go, man. Say it, say it. Those, those, are, those are the fake Christians, those right? Are fake Christians. Those are the ones trying to give Christianity a bad name, right? But us, we believe in good people like you, that we want to have this conversation. We yeah. love Jesus. We love Moses. We love Abraham. We love Muhammad. Peace and you blessings be upon all, all of them. Prophets. All his prophets, exactly. I mean, think about it, right? Like when you look at the message that was sent with Moses and Abraham, it, it was one message, right? right? Believe in that one God. What's the first commandment, right? Yeah, Hear, O Israel, yeah, yeah. Hear, O Israel, your Lord is one, right? right? Second commandment, don't worship idols, right? That's the same belief that we believe Jesus brought, right? Yeah. But you know as a Christian that the Bible got altered and stuff. You know, you had King James and you had his version and yeah. you had others and you had right, right, right. The, the, the Council of Nicaea and trying to quantify the divinity of Jesus and all that kind of stuff it went through, right? Yeah. So we want to believe in Jesus like his true followers did as a prophet, right. as somebody who brought a message like Abraham and Moses and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So that is our da'wah. And as a Christian, I think, you know, you'll see that we, we believe Jesus was a Muslim, right? Uh -huh. What does that mean even? A Muslim is somebody who submits their will to Allah. Right, right. right? right, right, right. So it's the so same. It's about submission. Exactly, it's exactly. To, to, to Allah. To there you go, man. You're on it. Like, think about it. Don't respect, you think? I really respect the Islamic faith. I well, really I respect your behavior. Jewish faith, like all these Excellent, faith, yeah. The, like monotheism is, they're all there you intertwined. Go. Like, it's exactly. All, it's all intertwined. Like, we're so, all believe, we all believe in the same God. Alhamdulillah. We believe in one Allah, right? No, no subdivisions, none of that stuff. One creator. To I forget the word. Make it to to Jannah, paradise. To Jannah. Yeah, Jannah. exactly, Make man. It to paradise. paradise. Since I was to read up. Because I have a friend who's who's he teaches me some of the words about Islam. Yeah, about nice, Islam. nice, Jannah. nice. Well, we can be your friends here. Come become okay. Muslim and we'll be with you know. Come join us on this side, man. Okay. You're you're well, almost there, bro. I'll keep praying. I keep praying. Keep praying, reading. Like, you know, here, take this one as well. This has a whole you. section about Jesus and uh, kind of like how we respect and love him. Great. And uh, come back when you got more questions, man. Okay, I appreciate All it. All right, thank have, you. have a great day. You too. God bless. All right, Allah guide you. Thank you guys. I'll give my life, and I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna rise from the dead. And he asked Peter, "Who do you say that I am?" Peter said, "Thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God." And Jesus compliments him. He says that you said not the Son of the Come talk to us. What? 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 Sure, there you go, bro. And then I gotta go. I really, I'm late. I mean, if you're gonna make a point, then I'd love to discuss it a little no, bit. If you're just I gonna don't make have time. Okay, well then come well, back when you, you got said, time. Uh -huh. Where does it say that? I'm gonna sure, tell sure. you. But, but the quick question: Is this Bible was this don't written in the time of? Don't tell me. Why not? Up. I'm gonna it tell is. you. You asked me to show you. I know, but I'm saying is what you're showing is corrupted. Okay. So how can it be an evidence? It doesn't matter what it says, and does it? It doesn't. I'm, well, I'm wasting no, 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 time. no, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. I'm Let gonna me read it to go you. Ahead, go ahead, read it to me. Okay. When Jesus came into the regi region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, "Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am?" And the they Son said, of Man. Son of man, that was one of the titles he was given. So he's a son Some, of man. Listen to me. I'm trying to understand the title. Are you I'm not trying to listen? I, I want to understand as well. <laughs> Is he the son of man or the son of God? He's a Muslim because he followed the same religion. What is that religion? Believe in one creator, follow the prophet of your time. This is success. Adam, Moses, Abraham, David, all the way down to the prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon all of them. It was the same religion. So Islam didn't start like a thousand years ago or two thousand years ago. That is since Adam, this is the religion. Uh, what do you know about Islam? Not much. I started watching this show called The Chosen on uh, 
Peacock, it's Jesus, it's um, Jesus show, and right. it's just intriguing. Is, is, is it hosted by Jesus himself, or? No, I'm just um, kidding. It's, it's, based on, it's based on the people around Jesus, not necessarily okay. Jesus, but the hmm. people that surrounded him. But see, a lot of a lot of that is fiction, as you know, because yeah, it's TV show, yeah, right? Yeah, but it, 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 you know, I've never thought about religion I, and things. Yeah, yeah? yeah. Excellent. Well, so let me give you a, a quick introduction to Islam. Islam has that belief that there is only one creator, right? This we call Tawheed. Like we don't believe God has kids, roommates. You know, when we talk about sons of God in the Bible, for example, um, people have misconstrued that to being literal sons. Right? But this is why I'm saying the people around Jesus, this language they spoke was Aramaic. Okay? The earliest biblical scriptures of the New Testament are in Koine Greek, common Greek. So it's not even in the language of those people. And those people they were unlearned. They were this is a Bible that I have. So you will find that in the Bible. In Acts chapter 4, verse 13, it says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, the disciples, and perceived that they were uneducated, untrained men, they marveled. So what does that tell you? That these disciples were not really, they weren't like scholars. They were regular people. They were uneducated people, right? So these books are not written by them. They're attributed to them. They were written in Koine Greek, some, some of the earliest basic scriptures, 40, 70, 100 to 400 years later, right? So that isn't even from Jesus. Let me give you one example, right? If you look at the death of Judas, right? You know Judas, the one that betrayed Jesus according to the biblical text. Um, in Matthew chapter 27, verse 5, it says, Then he threw down, threw down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. Whoa. So how did he die? Suicide. Suicide, but how? Hanged himself. Yeah. Hanged himself, right? Excellent. So now in the same Bible, if you go to a different chapter, which is Acts, as you can see, I read the Bible a lot. Um, Acts 1 verse 18. Now this man, which is Judas, purchased a field with the wages of inequity, meaning the wages of selling out Jesus, and then falling headlong, he burst open in the middle and his entrails gushed out. You see, you're intelligent, that's why you're like, what? Wait a minute, there's no hanging, no suicide. There is falling, gushing of entrails. So why is that? Because these aren't written by the actual disciples. These are accounts that people put together to anonymous authors. The writers are anonymous and attributed to certain disciples. And that's why you will find all of these are contradictions. Right? And that's why even if you look in the Bible, you will find many people called the sons of God. Right? Um, I'll give you an example here. This is in the, in the Psalms of, uh, of David, where in chapter 2 verse 7 it says to David that that I will decree David is saying I will decree the decree the Lord has said to me now this is Old Testament this is before Jesus but what did God say to David you are my son today I have begotten you right but this doesn't mean that he's his literal son right this is the problem people get into and that's why you see the Christian religion has been changed over time and has all these contradictions, right? Even if you look at the idea of God having, you know, impregnating a woman and then he is God, but then he's the father. And then, you know, Jesus is on the cross crying out to God. But well, who's he crying out to if he is God, right? And why would he say you've forsaken me if that was the plan, right? So we give you an easy belief, a very simple, that, that in your own heart, what we call fitrah, your natural belief will accept it, right? One creator, no wife, no kids, no roommates, no husband, no girlfriends, no, none of that stuff, right? One creator that's greater than all of us. There is nothing like him. We can't compare him to us. There is nothing that can even resemble our great creator. What we know about a creator, what he told us about it. What did he tell us? He said, he sent Adam, he sent Abraham, he sent Moses, he sent Moses, uh, uh, David and, and, and Jesus and Muhammad. 
peace be upon all of them. We love all of them. We don't make fun of them. We don't make cartoons of them. We don't disrespect them. We love all of them. And all of them, one message. Worship one God. Don't worship idols. Don't. You go to a church nowadays, the first thing you see is big idols. What's the second commandment? Don't worship idols. Right? God says, God is one. And then they're like, no, he's three. Sometimes he's two. Sometimes he's three and a half. So, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense, right? And then, then their Bible says, God is not the author of confusion. Well, the Trinity is as confusing as it gets, right? Yeah. So Islam gives you that simple, pure, natural belief. One creator, you have a direct relationship. You don't have to go to a priest. You don't have to go and confess to some guy in a box and worry if he's got kids in the back or not. You just go there. You, you, you want to you wanna confess to Allah. You, you turn, you said, you are my creator. You are the creator of the universe. Forgive me. And Allah forgives you. He doesn't have to kill his son. He doesn't have to shed any blood. He can forgive you. That's the beauty of mercy in Islam. What do you think about it? That's beautiful. You like it? I really right? appreciate you explaining it. Excellent, you. excellent. Thank you. If you have any other questions, ask us. And when you're ready to become Muslim, we're ready to do the Shahada here. Thank you. All right, have a great day. I bear witness that. I bear witness that there is no one worthy of worship. There is no one worthy of worship except, except Allah. Allah. And, and I bear witness that. I bear witness, witness that Muhammad, Muhammad is is Allah's messenger. Is Allah's messenger and his slave. And the slave. And Muhammad is the messenger, is the slave of Allah. And Muhammad the messenger is the slave of Allah. Yes. Muhammad Congratulations. Come on, bro. Come on, dude. Yeah. I don't want more. We are going to so nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Zachary. Zachary. Nicholas. Thank Nicholas. You.